Hi, my name is Ted Barnes at Pioneer Ford, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Sync system. The Microsoft Sync system has two basic features, MP3 controls and uh, phone controls for Bluetooth, and uh, some phones even support Bluetooth text messaging. Right now we're going to go through the whole system, see how it works. Uh, there is voice commands for the entire system. Basically there's three, three or four buttons that you'll have to worry about. On your radio display here, whether you have a six disc CD player or a single disc CD player, the navigation system is just a little bit different, but this one's got a six disc CD player which is going to work exactly like the single disc CD player. This is the phone button. That's how you get into your phone menu. As you see here, there's a radio station, so we're in the FM menu. If we press the phone button, we're going to jump into the phone menu. It's going to try to connect a phone. What's going to happen is here in just a minute or two, it's going to say no phone. And then that's when we're going to add a phone, and we're going to use my Apple iPhone uh, to connect to Bluetooth, and we'll see how that works. Most vehicles can be connected uh, via Bluetooth as long as your phone has Bluetooth. Uh, you can connect it through your tools uh, button, maybe your settings, connectivity, anything like that. Some phones are different. So this is the OK button here, the 6 button. Um, the uh, 6 button is, doubles as the OK button. Also our other uh, buttons here are on the steering wheel. There's an OK button, a phone button, seat buttons, volume buttons, the voice button, the media button. For, the, all, for these purposes, we're going to press the OK button, which is a two-sided button. We're going to press the OK side to connect to Bluetooth. It's going to see the iPhone, but I was connected yesterday, so we're going to add a new device. Add device. Press OK. Press OK to begin pairing a device. So we're going to press OK just like she told us to. Search for Sync on your device and enter the pin provided by Sync. On the iPhone, you can go right in here to the Settings button. And under the Settings menu, you'll have a General tab. Under the General tab, there's a Bluetooth button. Bluetooth is set on. So now, right here on the phone, it's going to be searching and it's found sync. Sorry for the uh, the issue there with the picture. So the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us for the PIN number. The PIN number is located right there on your radio display, which is 422875. And press connect on your phone. And at this point, you're pretty much for your safety. Your please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. To use this device for Bluetooth audio, change your source to Bluetooth audio in the media menu. The next thing that was, that's going to happen is it's going to show set primary. We're going to press OK to make this the primary phone. That's going to give us the ability to do the Bluetooth controls. Download phone book, OK, and yes. Now that the phone book is downloaded, we can go in here to the phone menu, press OK. You've got redial. Let's check my call history. Who's called me lately? Work is called. My mom and dad's called. Uh, long distance number. My buddy Mick. My buddy Root. So those will show now who's called. And then again, my phone is not connected to the vehicle. It's all via Bluetooth. Um, and now we'll show you some of the voice controls. Again, back here in the steering wheel, this is the voice button. We're going to tap the voice button. Phone. Please say a command. Call work. Calling work. And you'll see here it's going to dial and begin to call work. I'm going to hang up so I don't have to talk to them right now. Call ended. When you get a call, you tap the phone button to answer the phone. If you want to ignore the phone call, you press in the uh, phone button and hold it down uh, until it goes to call ended there. And uh, if you want to join calls while you're on it, you tap it. And if you, end a, if you want to end a call, you press the phone button and hold it on the steering wheel. Again, right there. All right, so those are the phone controls. And you can say whoever you want to call in your phone book because your entire phone book is downloaded in. You can also go right in here to phone book. And my entire phone book is 
right on in there. And again, we can always go back to the beginning, to the return, press OK, and we're back to that menu. Your next control is your MP3 player control. Right down in here in the uh, console is uh, a line in button, which is your basic control for MP3, but there's also a USB. Well, one of the first vehicles to ever put USB in the vehicle to put in your iPod. Now, what that's going to do when you have an iPod and you're an MP3 player is when you're listening to music, and I don't have mine with me right now, so I can't show you, it's going to show you right here on the display what's playing. It'll also give you the ability to use these sync, bu sync buttons or these sync buttons to switch between the song that you're listening to. The way that you get to the MP3 is you'll press the auxiliary button, Oh, press phone and hold it to get out of the phone menu. We're going to press the auxiliary button. These are satellite radio. If we kept pressing, it's going to get to sync. Now, if there's a USB device in there, it would go to USB here, and we can continue to play. When you have a USB device already connected to the system, you can also do your voice commands, which is here, and you can say play artist, the Rolling Stones, play track, Sweet Home Alabama. Whatever type of music you listen to, you can play whatever you want. You can even play a specific genre. If you like oldies, you can say play genre oldies, play genre rock and roll, whatever it is that you listen to. So that's a pretty quick wrap up on how to use the Microsoft Sync system in all 2009 Ford Lincoln and Mercury vehicles and select 2008 models. If you do have any questions that I couldn't answer for you today, please call me. Uh, I don't care if you bought the car from us or anything, you're more than welcome to call. You can reach me at my direct line at 623-206, or I'm sorry, 623-298-3924. Or feel free to email me at tbarnes, T-B-A-R-N-E-S at PioneerFord.com. Our website is www.PioneerFord.com. And again, this is Ted Barnes at Pioneer Ford. Thanks for watching.